We should be more afraid of computers than we are. If you're a Go player, that might not be surprising. A program made by Google's DeepMind subsidiary just became the first machine ever to beat a professional player at the ancient Asian game, and went on to win a match against one of the greatest players in the last decade. And the really scary thing is that although it learned how to play by reviewing thousands of matches played by humans, it got better by playing millions of games against itself. It just sat and thought very hard about Go and got better. From there, it's not a huge jump to come round to the fears espoused by technologists like Elon Musk, that artificial superintelligence could be an existential threat to humanity. The problem is that once AI starts teaching itself how to fulfil its goals, you stop having control over its plans. And once an AI starts working out how to make itself better, it can get much smarter than you much quicker. You start off by telling a machine, work out how to get better at Go, but you end up with one that decides that the best way to get better at Go is to pulp humanity and use the tasty goo that's left over to power its processes. But really, I'm not afraid of that prospect. And part of the reason why is that we already have machines far more intelligent than a human, laser focused towards the goal they've been created to perform, and without the capacity for ethics and morals. It's just that we call them companies, they're programmed with the legal code, not computer code, and they're not made out of silicon, but people. So why should we be afraid of computers? Because ultimately it's not people who control what purposes artificial intelligence is put towards, it's companies. And while Elon Musk is afraid of being pulped down to meat paste by an evil superintelligence, he's got less to fear than you or I from one of the corporations he controls deciding to fire him and replace him with an algorithm that can do his job better. And what Google's Go Play and Computer did for board games, you can be sure some other algorithm is going to do for your job sooner or later. In the best case scenario, such a silicon revolution would only be as disruptive as the industrial revolution, prompting widespread unrest and misery in the short term, but ultimately leading to a better world on the other side. In the worst case scenario, untold millions of unemployed people would hollow out the global economy, pushing us all into a recession from which we might never emerge, and permanently entrenching the super rich as new feudal overlords. So yes, I'm afraid of computers, and you should be too.